All right. It is Friday. So you know what that means. It is time for the NPL Video Game Club on this Friday, June the 9th, 2023. 65 degrees, partly sunny according to my weather app here. Uh, you know, things are in the northeast a little crazy. All the smoke and all the uh, weird uh, atmosphere coming in from those fires in Canada. Our thoughts to everyone affected over there with those wildfires. And, uh, you know, nature is such a crazy, crazy beast that it has brought some residual effects over to us here. So, please stay safe. Try to limit your times outdoor, uh, outdoors if you are outside. And uh, consider wearing a mask just to try to, you know, keep your, keep your lungs as, as good as they are. But nonetheless, thank you for being here again on this Friday. Hope you're having a fantastic week thus far. As always... Aldo here on the NPL Video Game Club. Thank you, uh, E.C. Myers. I know you wrote, hello, can't stick around for long, but leaving a like. Well, that is very kind of you. Thank you so much. Let me, um, you know what, just check the uh, chat. So I'm going to log out, log back in. This tends to be an issue with this here. Uh, so let me log back in. It's just a glitch with Streamlabs. If there are other alternatives for chats, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to look at them at this point because this always seems to glitch up when I'm here. But uh, let me write a test message. Herb, what's up? Thank you for coming on in again. Really appreciate it. Thank you for being first. That's pretty cool. Really appreciate it. Uh, so let me see chat i may just need to refresh on obs here there it is yeah which i just did yeah so it i it's in the past when i hit refresh it'll do it sometimes it won't so usually what i have to do is i have to go to the streamlabs website log out log back in one combination of all of those things will do it so uh it's weird 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 quirk uh, but if there's an alternative outside of Streamlabs for a chat box that looks something somewhat like this, I'm all ears. Uh, I'd be happy to try to find something a little bit more consistent. But nonetheless, uh, thank you for the tips. So yeah, uh, before I get into the gaming of the day, there are some orders of business that I do need to talk about at the library. So let me begin. First and foremost, on June 13th, as part of our Especially for Norwalk Senior Citizens program series, Armchair Travel Stockholm. It'll be June 13th at 1 p.m. Come experience Stockholm, Sweden, up close without leaving Norwalk. The clean streets, art scene, and royal history await you in this lively discussion that includes a video, a slideshow, and authentic Swedish treats. Not too bad. So again, this is more geared towards senior citizens, though really anyone is open to apply. There is a form which I have posted in the chat. If you know of a maybe a grandparent or anyone uh, who may be interested in checking this event out, you just click on the link, fill out the form, and you are in for June 13th. So, you know, again, be nice to visit Sweden, but a lot of us are, you know, it's not feasible at current time. So this may be a cool little virtual tour of Stockholm. Again, using the power of, of technology to bring us places we can only dream of. All right, next up, SCORE are presenting Financial Planning, the Essentials for Your Business Success. Money is the universal language of business. Regardless of what type of business you're in, success or failure is a function of how well you manage your money. Yet, not everyone, including small business owners, have strong money management skills and capabilities. If your financial acumen is lacking, and if you are or have aspirations to become a small business owner, then this free workshop is for you. That'll be Wednesday, June 14th, 6.30 p.m. on the main auditorium at the library, which is on the second floor on the Belden Avenue location, the main branch. So I am posting a link 
to that as well. If you were interested in, uh, oh wait, hold on, that's the wrong one, I'm sorry. Um, let me, can I get rid of that one? I can, okay. So let me move, I just posted the same one before. Here it is, score.org. If you were interested in checking this event out, it is free. Uh, they just do ask that you register, pre-register for the event beforehand. And, you know, they're going to cover things such as pricing your product or service, staffing and payroll issues, taxes and regulatory responsibilities, managing accounts payable and receivables, and safeguarding against theft and fraud. So SCORE tends to be a regular presenter here at the library. And if you are or if you are looking to maybe start your own business or if maybe if you know somebody who is trying to dip their toes into the small business world, this workshop may be of benefit to them or you. All right. And the Summer Reading 2023 Adult Summer Reading Challenge is underway. And you know what? I'm going to put a link to that. Uh, one second here. Well, before I speak, let me get the link for that. One second here. Would have been nice if I had this beforehand. There's always one thing I forget, which is which is great. But that's on me. All right, so I'm going to post the link to the Adult Reading Challenge page right here in the chat. So what this is, uh, we had one during the fall. Basically, with a library card, if you have one, uh, you are invited to enter this challenge. So this summer, we have created 25 challenges. Each challenge completed is worth one point. The person or persons with the most points at the end of the challenge will win a goodie bag with books and other fun treats. So the leaderboards are updated on a weekly basis. And basically, there is one, uh, if you click on the link that I put in the chat, that'll bring you to the homepage of the reading challenge. So all you need to do is go to the challenges link, which will then tell you the specific challenges that you do, for example, reading a book that is based on a true story, or reading a book that was published 10 years ago, or read a book in the fantasy genre, or a New York Times bestseller, so on and so forth. There's a whole bunch of challenges and different types of uh, different challenges based on various genres and whatnot. And all you need to do is, uh, you know, borrow one of those books using your library card. And when you're done, you just go to the submission form, which is on the link as well that I posted in the chat. Enter the book that you read, and you are entered in the leaderboard. So, I mean, it's a pretty cool little different thing at the library, kind of a friendly competition. And the, the leaderboard is live, and if you click on the leaderboard, you will see that there are various people who have are started reading books already. So shout out to Gloria L, who is at currently at the top of the leaderboard with 12 points. So again, you are more than welcome to enter, dip your hand, dip your toes in the challenge. And again, it's free. All of this is free at the library. Never forget that. And last but not least, the Seed Library is now open. So all you need to do is when you walk into the library, the Belden Avenue main branch location, Head on over to Studio One, you will see a display for the Seed Library. There's a little small form that you fill out. Once you fill out the form, you can uh, grab a whole bunch of packets of seeds and start your garden journey. And if you click on the link, to, it'll bring you to the gardening page, which is kind of a, a ground zero to get started on your gardening endeavors. So it's going to have tips, videos, uh, interviews, and, and suggestions to get your seed library up and, I would say up and running, but I would say up and budding would be very punny. So yeah, check it out again. Another free resource which is available to library users. And you know, hey, free is not bad. You can't beat that. All right, so what am I playing today? Well, if you were here last week, I played Fall Guys for the very first time, and it was pretty fun. I was able to include some folks here in the chat. Viewers were able to participate in the games as well. Shout out to Gamer Herb, shout out to Sam, and shout out to, uh, what was it, Sonic Speed? 
Oh, I forget. It was a Sonic the Hedgehog name. I'm Hyperspeed, I believe it was. Um, thank you for, for participating. So I have done a little bit of homework. I have posted a pinned message at the very top of the chat, which gives you my Epic Games a gamer tag, nickname, whatever they call it on Epic Games, handle, whatever it may be. I'm, I'm old, so I'm just used to gamer tag. I know that's a Microsoft thing, but I'm just going to use it for now. But if you are interested, you could just add me under that name, Shin Bojack, uh, in any of these games, because I'm playing all of these on the Epic Games uh, launcher. So it should be the same name across the board. Now, I figure I'll start off with Fall Guys, uh, since I started it last week. Do a couple sessions of Fall Guys and see how that goes. So with that, let me go ahead and switch on over the main screen here and and again look the the chat does not show it's weird when i switch scenes it doesn't uh carry on over which is very strange um but let me put something in the chat just to see that it shows and if it doesn't i'd have to do that thing where i log off and log back in Linda, what is up, Linda? Happy Friday to you. Yeah, so let me log out of Streamlabs. So this is that, these quirks with these programs, uh, it seems that when I switch scenes, it uh, just doesn't, it, it like restarts, which is very strange. I don't know the explanation behind that. It's quite annoying. Uh, so let me refresh the cache again. And there it is. See, I, I had to log out of Streamlabs, log back in, and then refresh the cache. Um, but yeah, let me start uh, with Fall Guys. And again, you are more than welcome to join in. Uh, all you need to do, again, at the very top of the comments, there's a pinned comment in the chat, which uh, will allow you to join. Uh, one second. All guys wants me to install something real quick, which is weird. Didn't do that before. There's a setting in the properties for that I can help you with after the stream. If you have Discord, we can chat. No pressure. Yeah, um, we can definitely talk after the stream for sure. Of course, this always happens, you know, in the moment. Um, what is this? I need to restart my computer. Don't be silly. All right, hold on here. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the game to start here. One second. Which is odd, because the game launched normally before last week. Again, I have not touched Fall Guys since. So, uh, let me see here. There it goes. Fall Guys is starting. All right. So, it's just loading. Again, this is one. I think the reason why it takes a little bit for Fall Guys to start, it does the anti cheat scan. And I think that's what causes it to. Uh... Oh, you're, you're on Steam. Yeah, so I play this directly from the uh, Epic Games launcher. Um, I just figured to have it all in one launcher for me is just a little bit easier instead of switching from Steam because I wasn't sure if I did this on Steam, would then I have to give my Steam name? And I just figured I'd consolidate it all into a uh... oh, PS4. Okay, okay. Cool. All right, so Fall Guys is here. So last week, it was my first time playing. And I was able to get to the... Uh... I was able to get to the final round, but I wasn't able to win. I think I got, like, second place on one of them. That's as good as I got. Alright, so, Fame Pass 1 ending soon ends June 12th. There's still time to check out the Fame Pass featuring Hello Kitty. Complete Fame Pass 1 ahead of June 13th when our next Fame Pass drops. Well, I'm probably not going to be good enough for any of that. There's a party in the store. 
Ends June 12th. G Gato Robato, Bullet Kin, My Friend Pedro, The Messenger, and Jacket are back. Okay, so My Friend Pedro, I know is a game, which I, I it's quite a bloody game from what I understand, so quite surprising it's on here. The Messenger, I've heard lots of, lots about. It's kind of like, from what I understand, like a mix between Ninja Gaiden and uh, Castlevania, or Metroid, I should say, Metroidvania. I haven't played it, but I did see our good pal Russ Lyman. Uh, Russ Lyman did a live stream of The Messenger a couple months ago. And uh, I don't know who Jacket is. And I don't know Gato, Roboto, or Bulletkin. I don't know who those are, characters are. Messenger crossover. Yeah, it looks like there's a skin for the messenger. Crown shard scramble. Play rounds and complete crown shard scramble challenges to earn free rewards. Visit the challenges screen to get all the details. Okay. So I am going to add Herb to uh, invite him to the party here. And again, if anyone else wants to join, you're more than welcome to join in. All you need to do is... Um, Hit, look at the pinned messages at the very top of the chat. That is my Epic Games gamer tag, nickname, uh, username, whatever you want to call it. It is Shin Bojack. It is written there on the pinned messages. And feel free to shoot me a friend request, and I can add you to the to the shenanigans here. And I think I haven't really earned anything new, uh, but last time I was able to change my color of my skin uh, i don't think i've unlocked any other colors to be honest but since i have the sega saturn-esque controller let me see if i can change my color here how about this coral blue right welcome to the party herb and i think yeah i just have one pattern I i'm assuming you probably uh, unlock this stuff. You probably have to buy all of this stuff, all these cosmetics. You know what? I, I, well, let me, let me see how this fishbowl thing looks. Why not? All right. So the theme we had going as a team last time was to have the controllers on our bellies. Uh, what do you think, Herb? Should we continue with the the controllers i don't really think i have anything else to be honest uh i have yeah i have the controller i have the blorbius the despiser belts which kind of looks like part of uh, dr robotnik's ship gamepad club all right cool let's just uh i know you're excited or let's just be careful with the language this is a uh, family stream so heck yeah what you mean um so I, all right, <laughs> yes, it's, it's all good. I'll, I'll remove it. No slide on you though. It's all good. And in that case, let me actually just uh, refresh the chat because YouTube won't let it go away. So, but it's all good. All right. No worries. Excitement is real. All right, so in this case, Square Pegs, happy Friday to you, my friend. How are you doing? Welcome to you on this Friday. I am playing Fall Guys for the second time. So, uh, Herb, come join us. Uh, well, the more the merrier. If anyone wants to join, there is a pinned comment at the very top of the chat with my Epic Games username, gamer tag, nickname, whatever you want to call it. Um, you just type in Shin Bojack and uh, you can join. This is cross-platform. So, for example, I'm playing on PC. I believe Herb is playing on PS4. This is available on Switch, Xbox, um, and it's all cross-play. It's all, it's all free. Doing well, still working. Otherwise, I'd hop on. Oh, it's all good, Square Pegs. So, Herb, what would you like to do? Would you like to do solos? There's a Create Around playlist. This is new, Hex a Gravity Trials. Uh, I've never done that. Uh, there's duos, which we could do duos. 
I don't, I don't think we were able to do duos last time. So how about we try duos? Hex sounds cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can do that. All right, so we'll do hacks first and then duos after. And again, if anyone else wants to join, the more the merrier. This is a free game. All right. Very, very cool. Whenever you're ready, Herb, we can begin. And while that goes, I am currently level eight. Looks like maybe after this match, I might be able to level up to level nine. I got Rocket League and Brawlhalla updated and ready to. Yeah, I literally just installed them last night. I have not played any of them. Um, I just literally installed them. So I have no experience with either one of those games. So I'm gonna, we're, uh, I'll figure it out as I get along. How to play, floor pieces fall away when you stand on them. Keep moving to survive. Ooh. So is this like layers? Yes, I can see from the picture there are multiple levels. I could help you out with that one for sure. There are lots of little things to know. Brawlhall is a great Smash clone. Sam, what's up, Sam? Welcome back. This is like the best game. Okay, ooh, okay. Okay, so there's honeycomb things. My first instinct is to... Oh, there's like low gravity. Oh, I missed it. Oh, man. All right. I didn't realize there was low gravity. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I don't want to take up too much space. So you kind of want to just stick... Basically, just move square to square would probably be the best way to go, right? But with the low gravity, that affects things. So I want to try to stay. You want to stay high. Oh boy. Oh man. Alright. That didn't work. So you just want to move square to square. It is the safe play. But of course, people will try to sabotage that. I think covering more ground is not the way to go. You want to cover the least amount of ground. Oh boy. All right. See, people are starting to take up my real estate here. All right. There we go. So I kind of get the gist here. I qualified. All right. I survived my first try. <laughs> my first time. All right. Yeah, so I I immediately figured out the best way to do is just go tile by tile. Not you're not want you don't want to do big gaps cuz the more gaps you cover, the less real estate the more real estate you're kind of throwing away. All right, so this is another round of hexagon. Okay, is it always low gravity? Or is, is that like uh, a special like uh, variant? Wish I was there to play hexafall. This is my first time doing it, yeah. Okay, so I'm over here. Used to be regular gravity. Okay, so it's like a low gravity version, okay. So basically I wanna, I wanna stay, oh, uh, whoops, all right. So you just you just want to cover like one oh boy. All right. You just want to cover one square, one tile. It's all you want to do. But again, people are sabotaging and covering multiples. Oh boy. See, they're they're moving too fast and that is what's causing the problem. They shouldn't be doing that. They should be just covering one square. They're causing havoc. Oh boy. All right. Seems you get stuck in like a loop. I right, see he is trying to sabotage my life here. All 
And see, I just want to cover one square. I don't want to cover multiple squares in one go. They're, they're panicking and taking up too much space. Being chaotic in this game mode will not do you any favors. The less real estate you cover, the more of a chance you have. Now see, they're just running, but that's not what you do. That's not what you're supposed to do. Oh boy, they got me. People love to juke you. Okay. Well, I got eliminated here. Alright. Well, Herb won. Herb survived. Alright, I'm not used to the mind games just yet. Again, I'm still just getting used to this. Honestly, think it's mostly kids, or they just don't get it, or they're just like, whatevs. <laughs> yeah, but the, the ideal way is just you move at a snail's, snail's pace, tile to tile to tile. Running in one fell swoop, yeah, you don't want to do that. Because you're just begging to uh, fall. All right. So now it is to watch Herb, rooting Herb on. If everyone went slow, it would get super intense. Indy, oh, you dived. Oh, oh, no, Herb is doing a cascading effect here. Oh, boy. But you know what? He is alone on this floor, so he could. You see, he's doing exactly that, one tile at a time. That's the way to go. It gives you the most time. All right, there you go, Herb. Yeah, all right. But yeah, there are people... Oh, there are people just causing chaos. So the low gravity, I'm assuming, makes this much harder. Because again, you know, you're floating. So it delays things. And it throws you off, too. I right, see, so like, that guy over there, that person's just diving. Like, whatever. This other one's just running. We got our eye on Herb here. Herb has got this. One has been eliminated thus far. So people are still surviving. Uh-oh. All right, there you go. Oh, he went for a dive and he's fallen. Oh no, oh boy. How many more layers are there? Oh boy, all right. Nice recovery, Herb. Two have been eliminated thus far. And I see Herb is listed as a Xenomorph from the Alien movies. All right, I looks like the blue underneath is the last level that there is, the last tier. So definitely do or die mode here. But only two have been eliminated thus far, so a lot of the people are still up on the top. Herb is playing it safe, as you should be in, a, in this type of game mode. So Herb is alternating every other honeycomb. Herb is doubling back. This other person behind him is could be causing uh, chaos. Three have been eliminated so far. Six more to go. And I'm not pretending to be an esports commentator. I'm just narrating just as I see it. <laughs> so. Oh, look at that. Feudal Jukebox has a pretty cool, like, samurai knight getup. Oh, all right, all right. Last level. This is the, uh, this is the one worth all the crumbs. Intense, intense. You got this, Herb. Four have been eliminated thus far. This other one is just running. Just running. That is a rep recipe for disaster. Similar cat, also doing the same thing. But they're trying to, to juke you. That's basically what they're trying to do. They're trying to mess it up for you. All right, things are slowing down. Four eliminated thus far. Ooh, all right. Herb is strategically moving. 
That center mass is the long is the biggest. Now see the, the gap now though to jump that far is gonna be really tough. Oh herb, alright, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Seven, eight, ooh, there was one person who jumped just a little bit higher. And that is similar cat six eight eight. That was down to the wire herb, so congratulations. That person literally jumped a millisecond after you, and that's why they got the, uh, that's why they were able to last. All right. Congratulations, nonetheless. Yeah, this game is one of my fave of Fall Guys. The low gravity helps, too. Yeah, I would imagine regular gravity definitely, uh, makes it even more stressful i'm at level nine i got kudos 500 kudos i got a color console all right we're probably joining this round sam okay cool yeah we can wait a little bit uh, i have uh so it seems i have another console so technically the console it's kind of like a gray right now if we're going with the theme of the controller in japan the sega saturn which is this, what this controller reminds me of um was gray in japan so i think i'm going to stick with gray and see what happens there i wonder if there's like a a controller video game uh like pattern I can get on my uh, on my character. But yeah, uh, Sam, if you want, I can give you a invite. Um, you're chicken tender, right? So it says you're offline. Once you go offline, I can uh, I can certainly add you. Is there uh, so what? What can I buy with kudos? I have 2,000 kudos, it seems. Where do I get... Uh, where can I buy patterns for my character? I see these are actual costumes. But these I need to use... Uh, the, the star smiley currency, whatever that is. Can you buy things with kudos as well? Or is it just this, this uh, other currency here? Again, I'm, I'm just, I'm completely, I'm assuming this is Epic Bucks or something, or whatever they call this. Uh, Stunning Sea Life Pack, Wildfire Pack, Soft Serve Sunday Pack. Different things are different currency, most of it is for actual money. Ooh, okay. I see. Um, show Bucks, okay, that's what they call this thing, Show Bucks. But the more you play, you rack up a ton of kudos. Okay. I was just looking to see if there's any way I could... Uh, oh, here it is. Oh, no, this is my level up, I guess. So if I go to level 11. Pixel Pigeon. There are unlocks here. Pixel Pigeon, whatever, the, whatever that means. Hello Kitty nameplate. Hello Kitty costume. I want that messenger and Gato Roboto crossover skins. I've unlocked. Okay, so I've unlocked, but they still have a lock icon on it. Um, so do I have to do anything else? Because I see it, it it lists like a dollar bill on it. Oh, I need to upgrade my fame pass. I'm assuming that costs money, right? Yep. Okay, well, never mind. All right, well, I'm... I guess I'm fine. They happen automatically. Okay. So what would you like to do this time, Herb? Would you like to do... Uh, let's do duos, right? Since we didn't do that before. So let's do duos and, and see what happens. 
challenges, uh, complete daily challenges. So I need to do one more, and I get uh, kudo, kudos, I guess. It's just like further currencies. It's kind of a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm again, completely uneducated on this stuff, so I, I, I definitely don't know. Found a match with 40 players. Door dash. Break through doors and race to the finish line. Some are real, some are fake. But I've never even put a dollar into this game, so it's all just extra, nothing necessary, yeah. Though, if I had played this when those Godzilla skins were a thing, I would have purchased them, because uh, I'm obsessed with Godzilla. Some doors are fake. I wonder what that means. So, like, they won't open? I guess I'll find out. Alright. Okay, so some doors won't uh, open. Alright. Oh, so it's like just one of the group is, is real. Okay. I see. All right. Ooh. Oh, boy. Plus 12 points. Okay. Round over. Okay, so in that eliminated, we didn't make it. Ooh, okay. Oh, well. I didn't know the idea behind that game. So literally only one of the doors is actually real. It can open. Okay. Well, now I know going forward, that's the gimmick. I didn't know that before. Treetop tumble. Navigate the obstacles and race to the finish line. Okay. So these look like... Uh, Platforms that depending on what direction you're standing on, it'll sway. So you gotta try to stay in the middle, I assume. Alright. So yeah, these are different games than what I was playing last week, so that's cool. Alright, so I am in... Where am I? Oh wait, we've, uh, yeah, we've been eliminated, right? So we can't even participate. Oh, I just quit now, okay. Do you lose um do you do you lose rewards if you leave early? Just goes to spectate, okay. Alright, well you still get some stuff. Not a lot. Okay, you don't you don't get punished for leaving. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, we can do another duos again. Just see how it goes, right? Alrighty. You still get whatever you did. All right, good to know, good to know. Thank you for all the information, Herb. I, again, I am a complete noob when it comes to this game. It's best to leave before the next game loads, so it's speedy. Oh, okay, okay. So you can leave immediately once you get eliminated, okay. I do like the old 56K dial-up sound that plays here when you're connecting. I would imagine a lot of younger players have no idea what that is. <laughs> we touched upon this uh, last week, actually, with Sam. He did uh, He did know, though. That's pretty cool. Big fans. Navigate the obstacles and race to the finish line. Linda, thank you for the applause. You can join in, too. This is crossplay. Pin Pinned comment at the very top of the chat with my gamer tag on Epic Games. God, good old digital screeches. Yeah, right? good 10 minute uh, process all right so spinning fans want to try to not fall which in a game like fall guys is a little easier said than done thank you all for watching okay i i am at the top of the pack here so i am gonna wait walk the line wait for the oh oh boy all right so you you've got a 
All right, dive. Walk the railing. Nope. Want to go this way. Oh, did I just knock someone out? Whoops. Sorry, bud. I, I didn't mean to. All right, so I want to wait here. All right. Hop on that one. All right. Ooh, all right. All right, I somehow didn't get smacked. So you want to watch out for this guy. Oh, what horrible timing. Man. Fifth place. All right. What? Oh, oh, wow. I thought I jumped at the right time. Well, apparently not. All right, I'm going to go right this time. So you want to go against... Oh, boy, jeez. That, that didn't quite work. Seventh place. Not doing too good here. All right. There we go. This should be the last. Ninth. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, wow. Knocked out again. No qualifying. Wow. All right. That that wasn't good. Herb, you did it. Okay. Well, Herb, congratulations for picking up on my slack. Because... That just wasn't good. Next up is... Yeah, those fa those fans. So my thing is, I am not familiar with the momentum of the jump. How that works. Somehow you survive. Well, thank you for doing so. I just... Yeah, that last spinning fan. The end was right there. And it just... I, I the, mo the inertia of the jump against the spinning fan just was not working with me. Skyline Stumble. Navigate the futuristic obstacles and race to the finish line. Okay. I don't know what that means. I see a lot of spinning items here, I think. So if they're coming from above, uh, I'd probably want to watch out for the shadows. Oh boy. Okay. Lots of lasers. Again, first time seeing this. I have no idea what I'm going to do here. I am very uh, new to all this. All right. So, okay, you just walk through. I didn't know that. I didn't see. I had no idea. All right. Low gravity. I see this is stuff I'm not aware of. I don't know what's going on. Pinball. Oh, pinball. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. All right. Want to watch out for the obstacles. All right, so these bridges disappear. Just like Mega Man. Alright, there you go. Alright, it won't let me s switch over. It says second place. Where, where am I going here? Oh jeez. All right, I don't know the uh, the the thing to do here. I am I have no control whatsoever. Wow! All right, all right, go up this way. Twelfth place from second to twelfth. All right, low gravity. 
14th. Come on. Why is he not grabbing on? The end was right there. Ugh. Oh. Wow, he was not grabbing on. Alright. Well, we lost that. Sorry, I had to re-download the game since I moved switches recently. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he wasn't grabbing onto that platform. He just kept diving. Oh, I was right there, too. I still leveled up, though. Got a level tw 11 now. Level 12. Okay. That was rough. I was right there, too. That, that's, that's the kicker. All right, well, it is uh, 4.55. There technically are two other games that I can switch to, so um, I figure maybe I can switch to uh, Rocket League and see how that goes. Unless you want to do one more fall, guys. I, I leave it to uh, the chat. If anyone in the chat, you want to see me fail more in Fall Guys, or do you want to switch to Rocket League or Brawlhalla? It's the Aldo rhythm. Right? So I, uh, what do you say? Should I do one more Fall Guys? Should I do solos? Okay, I could do solo. Alright. There we go. One more for the road. Leo. I dig it. Thank you to anyone watching. This is usually different than what I normally do. I primarily tend to stick with the single player uh, games. But, you know, there are free to play opportunities where I can, you know, engage with you, the community, if you so choose to do so. Full tilts run in balance across rows of 360 seesaws to reach the finish line. Okay. I think I, I think I did this last week. So this, this sounds familiar. You have to make sure that it doesn't tilt too much. But again, with so many people running, it's inevitable. Right, so I'm over here. See it tilts up, so you want to... And then that way, yep. And just keep keep moving, keep moving. Uh, Alright, just move that way. Checkpoint. I see Herb. Herb has moved on ahead a little bit. Right behind. I'm right behind you. Alright, so now there are obstacles. Ooh. Wow, I got saved. All right. So actually, Sam, KO City shut down. I actually looked them up yesterday. Knockout City, the servers just went offline last week. <laughs> so the game is no longer functioning, to my knowledge. Uh, I did look it up. But yeah, the game did shut down. All right, so what am I doing here? All right. Oh, I think I did it. I think I did it. Second place. Yeah, I did look it up out of curiosity because I remembered uh, you guys mentioned KO City. But so the servers did shut down uh, last week, I believe. Now, I did hear something on the blog post for the game. They mentioned something about they'd be releasing a private client where people could host private servers. But I didn't look into installing it or anything yet. Because again, I'm not familiar with the game. I don't know if it's out yet. But that may be something to do in the future. But again, it would just be private matches. It's not public servers anymore. It really should have had an offline component too. Oh, okay. So it was online only. Knockout City was addicting and way fun. Yeah, so I had never even heard of it. 
I um, looked it up. So it's like dodgeball. Third person dodgeball, from what I can understand. Yeah, I, I had never even heard of it before. Great level design. Okay. Oh. 16 out of 27. It's like extreme open world dodgeball with power ups and fans and bouncy pads. Okay. All right, Brian Spider has, has given up. Here fly. Five, four, three, two. Oh. Round over. All right. So we qualified. Very nice. Next up is... Ooh, that one with tunnels. I, I never, I've never done that one before. Hoopsie Legends. Jump and dive through hoops to score points. Okay, this is new for me. I've never seen this before. Spellbreak also went down, and that was another great free to play. It was like Fortnite, but with magic, you could mix and match. Okay, another one I've never heard of. I'm very uh, not knowledgeable when it comes to the free to play world of games, which perhaps for the sake of this type of stream would be would be better. Okay, so I'm assuming these hands are gonna move up and down. You gotta dive through them, right? Probably. Oh boy. Alright, so I don't wanna you know what? Alright. Oh, so this isn't actually a race. You just have to jump through hoops, literally. Okay. I didn't realize that was what this thing was. That's my fault. Whoops. All right. There's a hoop right there. Come on. Come on, don't leave. All right. Three. Oh, man. All right. Oh, wait, there's two right here. Come on. Five. One more. One more. Ooh. All right. Again, I, I didn't know. I thought this was a race. I didn't know it was just reaching hoops. All right. So now I know. Also had a very welcoming community. Okay. Yeah, if you have any other ideas for free-to-play games, I'm all ears. Except Fortnite. I don't think I could muster the courage to play that, <laughs> to be honest. I don't think I could do that. Congratulations. I somehow was able to make it through. I, I thought it was a race. I had no idea it was just a tiny arena. So the hoops just randomly... Uh, stay for a few seconds and you have to uh to just make it through fantasy strike is a great fighting game that's free to play it's free to play randos but since i bought it i can invite you to 1v1 okay then another one i haven't heard of yeah i uh oh look this person has a skin with controllers look at that with a controller that's cool it's not a Saturn controller, but it's more like a uh, PlayStation 1 controller. Also, Death vs. is awesome. It's the spiritual successor to Let It Die. Okay. Fortnite is fun, but it's way more competitive than Fall Guys, and some even call it violent, even though there's absolutely no blood. Yeah, well, probably because there's guns. It's just, I remember when I was running a land center, Fortnite was originally just a tower defense game against zombies. Jump Showdown. 
Jump over the spinning beam and avoid the falling floor to win the crown. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, so there's a low and a high. Okay, so the high, I assume you don't jump. And the low, you do. Oh boy. All right. So... Oh, so the shaking floor means it's going to fall, right? All right, so... Just want to make sure you're not near a shaking piece of ground. All right. So it seems it's moving in a clockwise fashion. Ooh, wait a minute. All right. You gotta time your jumps here. Oh, that one's moving. So you want to give yourself some leeway. Oh, oh boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I was looking at something else. Oh boy. Uh oh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh. That caught me off guard. That one caught me off guard. The timing on that one. Congratulations, Lars. Fortnite, you can be really disrespectful. Okay. It's like Fortnite, but mixed with like Bushido Blade or For Honor. This one is like Twisted System from Fusion Frenzy. Yeah, yeah. The one where you have to jump and duck. That one was cool. I, oh, if I could do Fusion Frenzy on here, I would love to do it. Um, I, I do hear it's available on Game Pass. Uh, but you need to have Game Pass Ultimate, which lets you play some OG Xbox games. But the thing is, I don't know. I doubt it. They added any online play to it. Ooh, I got a Electroviolet Bandana. Uh, I look like Zack Ryder from WWE. I would love to do Fusion Frenzy on here. Absolutely. Fusion Frenzy is such a fantastic game. It really is. Um, but yeah, so I have yet to get the big prize of winning a game. One day, maybe. We shall see. Um, Brawlhalla says Sam. Um, yeah, I mean, I could try it. Again, I've never played it. I literally just downloaded it last night. Um, I, I have not uh, played it. Uh, so how do you exit this? Uh, Alright, well, I'm going to exit. So apologies, Herb, if you see me leave. But I will exit the game now. And so, yeah, that was, that was a fun little distraction, falling around and going crazy. If you have S Xbox discs, they'll work on the new Xbox 2, but not online. That would have to be using X-Link Kai, but even then, Fusion Frenzy didn't do land mode, so it wouldn't work. Oh, all right. Someone, someone out there, please, just, just port Fusion Frenzy with online play. That's all I need. It, it would be such a fantastic experience. So yeah, Brawlhalla, I'm going to launch that. Uh, again, all I did was launch it yesterday, but I have not played it. Um, I just saw the menu. And that was it. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. Again, I have not played a second of Brawlhalla. So, I have no idea how it works. Fusion Frenzy is one of those long-lost games that's only good local if you still have a system. Yeah, it was such a good, such a good experience, though. All right, so it says it's launching client. Now, again, from what I understand, this game is Flash-based, so I don't know. Okay, it actually does show up on my screen, on your screen. Okay, so this is all new to me. I don't know what to do. Uh, Herb says I'll set us up. Oh, wait, no, go to custom game room, create. Uh, okay. And, uh, well, US East, yeah. And create room, private room, right? Um, so then how would I... Then give us the code on the top. This is crossplay for sure, even on mobile. Uh, 
Okay, so the room number is on the top there, I guess. Room US slash E. 188142. Okay, yeah, you guys know, because I've never seen this before. This is whole new to me. Okay, so there's character pirate called Thatch. Wu Shang. Looks like he's from Avatar, but he also has the Akuma beats. Um, Yumiko. Artemis. Zal. Looks like a World of Warcraft or orc. Kaya, which I think is from Avatar. Onyx. Ma Mako, Sewer Sharks, really? Is that from Sewer Sharks? Holy smokes. And Ezio Auditori da Firenze from Assassin's Creed 2, and he's got the Apple of Eden. Well, of course I gotta pick Ezio. Uh, oh, there's different skins, I guess, or... Don't really know. Classic colors, blue, green, brown. Okay. So there's weapons you can choose. The Auditory Blade, which it seems that's all I have. Apple of Eden. Uh, I don't know what this is. Valkyrie Mark I. I have no idea. Base stance. Well, since I'm just starting off, I literally, I, I'm assuming I have nothing from you can choose from those nine fighters and they switch each week you can play characters from many other universes like steven tmnt wwe rayman etc Ezio, yes the full game for all past and future characters is 20 bucks it's similar to smash but has key differences that really make it its own thing honestly i love Ezio, says sam but i gotta stick to my main hotori I've been using her since day one of playing. It's a female. Oh, yes, yes, Hattori. So, Hattori, which you mentioned last week, Kill Bill, Hattori Hanzo. All right. Got the hidden blades. Once you get a character to, like, a level three by playing, you can then alter one stat under your character for some cool variation. Okay. So, again, uh, I'm going to do this, but I don't know the buttons. I don't know anything. So I'm just going to figure it out as I go. So please bear with me. Some characters literally can have max by altering, which can be tricky. There's a Kill Bill skin, Kill Bill skin for her, but I don't have it yet. Oh, it's jump, light, and heavy attack. Okay. All right. Uh, so there, oh, well, uh, voted for Thunder Guard Stadium. Okay. I'll, I'll go with that. Lost, uh... R2 is dash, which you can do also in midair to avoid things. Okay, well, yeah, I'm just... I'm gonna die a lot. Whatever this... Is this like Smash, where it's like not a life bar, but it's percentages? I'm guessing. Three, two, one, brawl. Oh boy, alright, so... Jump, attack... Uh, okay, there's an uppercut thing. I got my Apple of Eden. Oh, I can throw something. Okay. Oop, that, is that like a mine? Oh, okay. A sword? Okay. Um, B does something. Some type of, like, area attack. Oh, okay. Whoa. Now, I am not a Smash player at all, so I have no uh, real uh, expertise with Smash. And please, don't take it easy on me. Like, if, if you want to destroy me, go ahead, please. Because, uh, again, I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, so is this... Uh, this is Herb, right? Oh. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Well, what is this? What is this fox thing? Oh, that's... Is it like your helper? Is that what's going on here? Whoops. All right. And you pick up... Yeah, so that bomb is probably going to be thrown at me. Yep. Whoop. 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 
Oh, and there I go. Okay. So the... Oh, okay. Helpers. I got the Apple of Eden here. Is there like a shield attack? Oh, come on, Etsy. All right, there you go. Is there like a block attack or? Ooh, all right. Denied. So Herb has two, seems two stock maybe is, is what was going on here. Okay, so right bumper seems to throw. Can you catch items in midair? That I don't know. Okay, so that just knocked the stock out of you. Okay, oh, okay. Dash. Oh, there it is. Okay. Victory. All right. Herb got the win. Player two wins. You can charge many attacks too. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I, I, I didn't know any of that. Okay. Congratulations, Herb. You got your sparklers. Yeah. So, again, Smash is a game that I never got into. I'll be honest. Um, Smash, uh, I'm just an old man, so I like fighting games. And when I mean fighting games, I mean traditional fighting games with a life bar and combos and not this like Smash type like floaty mechanic. Um, I just never, it was never a connect for me. And I'm not dissing Smash. I know it's extremely popular with a specific crowd. It's just with me, if it's not like a Street Fighter KOF, Mortal Kombat, Guilty Gear type style. It just, it, it, I'm never going to be proficient at it. That's just what I'm saying. Uh, it, Power Stone is like the only outlier that Power Stone is kind of like an arena brawler, but it has a life bar. It has combos. It has psychology, mind games you can play. Um, that's like the only exception that I'm really good at. But stuff like this, it looks cool. This is a free game. That's cool. Um, but I'm never going to be proficient at this, uh, just because it's just like a mental disconnect with me. Um, you're faster without a weapon, but then you have no unique attacks. No shield, just a dash evade. Okay. Ezio using the Apple of Eden to whack people instead of using its real power is hilarious. Okay. Uh, each character has two. Let's put it on time. Triangle for setting. Uh, oh, whoops. So I'm just leveling up here. There are many game modes too. You're good at this so far. Well, thank you, Herb. Just find a character you like. Check their stats. All right, so next. All right, so you said uh, time, right? Is this uh, what you were saying? R1 to go over time. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Here it is, time. Uh, so what would you like to set it to? Again, this is all hieroglyphics to me right now. Lower the, the time or, or increase the time. Leveling up is great and happens just by playing. Time is great because we can play the whole time. Five minutes. Okay. 
Um, is there a certain score to win? Should it be on infinite? Test features and maps on. Okay. Anything else? So that's all good. Infinite score. Okay. Anything else? Again, this is all... <laughs> I have no idea. So please guide me to whatever you feel is best. I am certainly open to anything. Now imagine if there was like a Street Fighter, which was like free to play. Also, at the end of our session, we can put it on eight players and make the room public. It's fun to have whoever join. Okay. Is this a game that has like voice chat or voice like a text chat? The reason I ask is because this is a library stream. I just need to nip it in the bud to not have any voice chat enabled because uh, I don't want anyone coming in and screaming curse words or anything like that. No chat whatsoever? Okay. Fantasy Strike is like Street Fighter, but free to play. Okay. Especially with time, because then nobody can hold up the game. I don't remember if there's voice chat. I just use Discord. Okay. Alright. So, Mako. Uh, this pirate reminds me of Kraken from Power Stone, so maybe I'll use him. But then Artemis looks pretty cool. Is Artemis from Mass Effect? That looks like one of the Mass Effect helmets. I I, I don't know. Uh, so I mean, again, I'm I'm not too knowledgeable in pop culture like recent stuff. This looks like somebody from either Avatar or Legend of Korra. The Mako is is definitely Sewer Sharks. Obviously, Ezio's Assassin's Creed. Saul looks like World of Warcraft. Uh, this, I'm assuming, is Mass Effect. And then these other characters, I don't know. They may just be original characters. Onyx? Yeah, it looks like a kaiju, but yeah, not from anything I know. So, you know what, maybe I'll pick Onyx. And just see, uh... Because I don't think I have anything, uh... Specific. All of these are original, except Rayman. Oh, really? But you can get more that are from other universes. I see. Okay. Mako definitely looks like sewer sharks. Like, Okay. I mean, obviously the designs are pulling from pre-existing, you know, IP. I see Rayman there on the bottom left. Okay. Interesting. On it. And they are like skins on top of these characters, but with unique moves. Hey, Linda, here we go, she says, like UFC. And here we go. Yeah, the designs are definitely inspired. Okay. Are we all ready? What map uh, would you like? I don't know any of these maps. Five seconds. Let's just do uh, the Calvin Prime. Sun Drive City. Okay, I, I don't know any of these maps, so this is all new to me. I also used to play as Cross when he was free. It's cool, has like eight player online, and if you disconnect, it just makes you a bot instead of create. Okay. Oh, this is a, a bigger map. Okay. Got some, uh, some, uh, Okay, so you can charge these attacks. That was a strategic use of the heavy attack. 
Are there supers in this game? Is that like a thing? Or that doesn't exist? Alright, ooh, that's a mine. I definitely don't want to stand on that. Oh boy, oh, don't want to hit that. Ooh, alright. Oh, wow, that was a... <laughs> that was a clutch, uh... Uppercut. Oh. Oh boy. All right, there I go. that let me grab this uh never mind all right Okay, whoa. Some of these, these hits just kind of come out of nowhere. There's some items it seems I can't pick up for whatever reason. Oh, jeez. Alright, so this guy, he hits pretty hard. There's uh, no question about that. Alright, so I lost my weapon. That didn't work. Alright, so for some reason I can't pick up my weapon. Don't know why. I see you can't change direction once you've committed to a move. I can't seem to pick up weapons when they show up on screen. I don't get the prompt anymore. Yeah. I can't pick up weapons. Is that like a thing? Oh, there I go. Oh. Yeah, I can't pick up anything. I get no prompt for it anymore. Ooh. Oh, so this is just a time limit, so depending on how many, no matter how many eliminations there are. There I go, I can pick up my weapon again. So I'm assuming Herb got it? Oh, I got eliminated the least amount of times, I guess. Okay. Okay. Well, GG, everyone. Yeah, so again, I am just not really understanding the mechanics so far. But again, this is first time, first time. Uh, it's uh, very good infrastructure and features for a free game. Yeah, it's interesting that this is, this definitely looks like it's made from Flash. Uh, this was coded in Flash. The fists are a weapon, GG. You can hit triangle after each game to say GG. Oh, okay. Good to know. Oh, why say GG? Yes, yes, okay. So, am I... Ooh, almost level 2. I'm at 204 out of 210 XP. Onyx is my main. Yeah, so, uh, well, just from first glance, Onyx is slower, but he's a heavy hitter. Um, his attacks hit hard. That's my guess. I got a new title, Novice. 
Okay. So I graduated from scrub to novice. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, but the idea is to try other people, right? So I'm curious to try this Artemis and see uh, what happens. Once you get the stat change thing, you can have max defense. Okay. So how about we do one more round of this, and then uh, I'll switch over to Rocket League to, uh, to wrap up the stream, because it is already 5.30, so I definitely do want to give a little bit of time to each one. Uh, Ur picked Volkov. Okay, so it's, it's a different roster for each person, right? Unless you paid the $20 to get everyone, I think you mentioned. Cool. Um, I have all the characters for twenty dollars. Okay, okay, yeah. So like, I can see, for example, Herb has the the weapon stat. So it looks like it's weapon, which is your melee attack, shield, which is your defense. I presume. Um, what is the stat on the bottom left? Is that uh, bottom right is speed? I presume. Um, bottom left is what your dash. Is that, is that like your dash ability? You get all the future ones too. How fast your weapon comes out to attack. Oh, okay. So like slash speed. I see. Okay, so definitely your character has very fast slash speed. High defense. Speed is a little bit lower. Um, and melee attack or power, I guess, is at, on par. It's average. Okay. Artemis. Green stat is the one you can alter. I see. Yep. Okay. Um, is there a specific map before I begin? Because I know it only gives you like 10 seconds to choose a map. Is there a specific map you'd like to use? If you know of any map names? Before I go to that screen, because it doesn't uh, test map. Where, where would the test map be? Is it... Uh... Oh, there it is. Test map, okay. Cool. All right, so it looks like my character has like key blasts or energy balls or things like that. Three, two, one, brawl. All right, so. So everyone's. Oh. Oh, I have a, I have a scythe. All right. There you go, Sam. Same out. Oop. Oh, Herb just knocked me. Herb is just woo. Oh, with the with the double tap there. Alright. I need a weapon. There it is. There we go. Oh, I have a different weapon. I have, a, I have a, like a, a lance. Okay, so this has like a thrust. Oh, oh. All right. I almost got knocked off screen. There goes Sam. Well, thank you guys for taking it easy on me, because uh, you don't certainly don't have to, though. If you want to humble me, please, because that's totally par for the course for any fighting game. I do like how big the map is. That's pretty cool. 
Like you said, Herb, you know, with a bunch of people, this, yeah, I could see how chaotic this could be. Okay, so my weapon has a lot of reach, and it has a lot of thrusting power. But it seems to have this weird, like, upward arc type of attack. I see the weapon, uh, the throwing weapon mechanic, it seems to home in a little bit. It has a bit of a homing attack. There you go, Sam. Sorry, Herb, I saw the moment and I had to strike. <laughs> you were typing. I'm sorry, Herb, that was rude. That was very rude. I didn't know you were typing. That's my fault. There you go. There you go. Shut me down. So my streak is over. I have a bomb here. Alright, so I have my scythe. Oops. I almost fell. I wonder, uh, so I'm not looking at the life bar, but yeah, I'm assuming it starts off white, then goes yellow. So if it means red, that means you're susceptible to getting knocked out, right? Like smash. Okay. I'm, I'm starting to slowly understand the, the mechanics here. All right. So we're all in yellow right now. Want to try to go to red. There we go. I'm getting darker. Nice one, Sam. All right, so Sam and I are in red. Oh, nope. Don't want that. Don't want the... Uh, Complete. Oh, wow. Okay. GG's, everyone. GG's, GG's. The more you get hit, the easier it is to be knocked around. Yeah, just like Smash. Yep. The more susceptible we are to get a uh, rip. Ooh, how, how do you change the... Uh... Oh, I see. Okay, so you pull up the emoji screen. Ah, okay. But nonetheless, GG. All right, well, that, so, I like Artemis. He's a little bit slower, but the, uh, that Lance weapon that he had was definitely, it's all about reach, and it just pokes. You know, the, the reach definitely uh, closes the gap. I'm so horrible at this game. No, it's all good, Sam. It is all good, buddy. You know what? I, I'm just having beginner's luck. That's all it is. I used to be really good, but I lost my skill. Oh, it's all good, buddy. It is all good. I'm just happy that you were able to play with me, you know, and, and, and give me a fighting chance. So I appreciate it. But yeah, let's switch on over to uh, Rocket League. But let me see. I think I'm level two. No, not level two yet. I was at 204 XP before. Huh. Okay. Not sure what, why it didn't... Oh, wait, it says I am level two on the top right. But on the top bottom here, it says I'm still level one. Oh, huh. okay. Well, uh, we're going to back out here. And I think this one I just had to close, right? Exit. Cool. Haven't played in like four months. It's all good, Sam. But it's fun. And even though Smash has the levels, music characters, this game has the eight-player online crossplay. And it's free. You can't understate the fact that it is free. Uh, Herb actually is, is a huge 
proponent and, and uh, advocate for free-to-play games or alternatives to mainstream titles, uh, this is definitely, yeah, you know, if, you, if you're looking for a Smash alternative that you can play with friends for free, uh, this definitely may be something to consider. So I am starting up Rocket League now. Now, I understand this game has a lot of uh, licensed music. So I think in the, I have to go in the options and turn off the uh, licensed music because or else the stream's gonna get shut down. Welcome to season 11. This season we're celebrating everything Sakar. Sakar, get it? Kick things off with the classic Nissan Silvia drift car. Unlock dozens of color-filled items with Rocket Pass Premium and enjoy the sights and sounds of Estadio Vida Arena. R2 for your friends list. Okay. Sam says in Brawlhalla, go to store and then crossovers and that's where all the cool stuff is. Ah, okay. Yeah, like I love all games, but you gotta give anything a hand that's free and accessible. Absolutely. Estadio Vida. So the Estadio in Spanish is a stadium. Vida is life, so life stadium or stadium of life arena. Um, so it says training challenges, complete the basic tutorial in the training playlist. So how about I do the tutorial first because I literally don't know anything of the buttons. Um, how would I go to uh, up for a challenge? Um, Complete basic tutorial. Do you mind if I just do the tutorial real quick? Just so I can at least understand the controls. Bear with me. Uh, hot shot. All right, so it looks like this is my car. And how do I... Uh, Where do I get to the training playlist? Where, where is that? Play. Uh, training. Here it is. Okay. Used to the silent. Yeah, this is licensed music. Hold on here. I don't want to get shut down. <laughs> Let me uh, check this. Okay. So streamer safe music is enabled. So that should mean that if anything is DM... DMCA, uh, it'll be muted. Okay, so that's that's on the game if it messes up. All right, training and uh, tutorial. Basic, yes, because it's my first time. Welcome to tutorial training. Press any button to continue. Use left left stick to steer. Press right trigger to throttle forward and left trigger to reverse. Hit the ball into the orange bowl. All right. Just keep going, right? All right. Simple enough. Jump. Tap A to jump. Hold A to jump higher. Drive forward and jump to hit the ball into the orange bowl. All right. Oh. Hit it again. All right. Simple enough. Okay. Dodge. Hold left stick and double tap A to dodge forward. Use this extra burst of speed to hit the ball into the orange goal. Okay. Okay. So it's like a, a rocket boost. These are speed boosts, I'm assuming? Yeah. Driving over boost pads refills your boost meter. Hold to trigger your rocket booster. Hold B to trigger your rocket booster, then drive forward and, while boosting, hit the ball into the orange goal. Okay. Boom. Alright, so B is, is turbo. Okay. Locating the ball. The arrow floating next to your car points towards the ball. 
Tapping Y focuses your camera on the ball and can be toggled back and forth. Find the ball and hit it into the orange goal. All right. Power slide. Drifting. Okay. To power slide, hold X. Drive to the highlighted area and power slide while steering with left stick to perform a U-turn. Okay. There it is. Was it telling me to do this too? Tutorial complete. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, when you're finished, press start to access the pause menu. All right, well, let me just get one more goal for the sake of it. Easy peasy to get into. People are so good, though. Okay. I can imagine. All right, so I can... Exit. Now you mentioned something about uh, create party. Oh, whoa, hold on here. I just got a Windows firewall setting. <laughs> so let me invite you, Herb. Is there a way to do like a 1v1 or is this limited to uh, like a, a, a certain group? There's also a weapon mode like Twisted Metal. Really? Oh, okay. There you go, Herb. Alright. Um, so yeah, is there like a private match or is there is there a way we can do against bots? Or uh, I, I have no idea. So go to play and there will be options. Yep, so I see there's casual, compet well, don't want to do competitive, don't want to do tournaments. Extra modes, all right, so I guess casual is fine. We can do a custom and set up our own. Casual should be fine, okay. Uh, 2v2, or just the standard 3v3. I guess I guess maybe just to start off 3v3 just so I can just get an idea and then maybe if I do decently enough doubles is cool okay yeah okay cool oh wait is this a is this a game with like voice chat too oh wait hold on I, I did not okay um I think last night I did switch it so that it's only in a party. So I hope uh, should be good for that. Looks like there's a disconnect icon. Public voice chat should be off. All right. settings uh whoops match canceled all right well i got five xp for it so <laughs> i mean i'll take it uh but you know what while i'm here let me adjust this uh what would it be audio uh chat here we go quick chat Chat with nobody, chat with nobody, chat with nobody, voice chat with friends only. Okay, so it looks like it should be disabled. Okay. Right, so... Says the next match. All right. Why for ball camp? All right. Their phase. Oh boy. 
They're, they're pro gamers. That's it. We're done. Oh, whoops. I jumped by accident. Oh, wow. I just totally... Oh, they scored. Oh, boy. Well, there goes that. <laughs> they even have the phase uh, logo. All right. All right, so you can follow the ball. Whoops, I jumped the gun there. Oh, totally missed it. Wow. All right. Ball physics are not my friend here. Whoops. Don't don't want to leave this unguarded. Big orb. Get it. that they got another goal oh all right so i gotta make use of the break and the power slide here all right herb there you go it's about to be knocked back this way isn't it no no <laughs> Hey there, Tanner Egrin. Ergen. Thanks for the invite. Cubanstinople. Nice. Well, this is my very first time playing Rocket League, so I suck. You know? Um, so, yeah. First time. Oh, alright. Missed that. Sorry, Herb. Not doing too bueno. Oh, there it is. Oh. All right. They just totally, totally blocked me there. Oh, I blew him up. Okay. There you go, Herb. Oh. Boy, they got a clear shot. All right, please, yes, knock it away. Oh man, I did not hit it at the right angle. That that could have could have gone in. Oh well. That's another one in. No. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I will take that. Yes. Yes. That worked. That worked out for me. That, that was my plan all along to, uh, to frazzle them. Razzle dazzle. Denied. All right. The ball physics are something else. He, he dodged, he blocked it. Good block. Knock it over. Oh, 
Knocked him away. But yeah, my very first time, so yeah, I'm... Ooh, alright. I blocked him. Knocked it away. Ooh, he, he saved it. Get it, herb, get it, herb. Nice, nice. Ooh, alright. I hit jump by accident. That is on me. Oh, that's about to go in. Oh. There you go. Nice save, herb. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez, I totally missed that. All right, nice save, Herb. 13 seconds. If I knew what I was doing, I could have saved that. All right, well, got one score in. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, good. Takes time to get comfy with the place physics, but it's a fun one. Also, there's tons of custom training content under training tab. If you want to get better at particular moves, help me a bit. You also do a good job launching fun alternative versions. Rumble is fun. You get superpowers. I like Mario Kart a bit. There's an ice hockey and basketball mode, too. I'm terrible at basketball. 3v3? Okay, so this would be... Uh... Exit to main menu, right? Then I probably need to put you in the party. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, thank you for bearing with me. And thank you for coming on in, Constantinople. Or Cubanstinople. So yeah, I, I, I'm just going to suck. That's just the way it is. But <laughs> so, You know, you got to suck before you start getting good. 3v3. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming on in. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming on in on the NPL Video Game Club. Appreciate it. Alright, this is a different arena. Ubanstinople. Seems to be like a uh, futuristic Blade Runner. Oh, wow. That was a mad dash. Oh boy. I save herb. Oh god, I jumped. Really, that jump did not work. Oh boy. Nope, nope, nope. Let that ball go away, yes. No, no, no. No, it went right by me. <laughs> I did a horrible job at blocking that. That was... Totally on me. Look at that. It went right by me. That was on me. Totally on me. But again, I can imagine, like Herb said, like a lot of these players are seasoned vets, so you know they've got they've got this uh, in the bag. I see there's like a, a disconnect icon. I don't know what that means. Does it mean the match is in danger of getting disconnected? Oh. There's like a red power disconnect cord icon. I don't know. It's flashing on the, on the right side of my screen. Ooh, he got it before me. All right.
Ooh. Oh no, again. Oh man. Not looking too hot. <laughs> The skill gap has been destroyed. Alright, I kind of blocked the shot. Oh. Oh. That was almost a goal. By me. Oh. Imagine. If I would have scored one, how happy I'd be. Ooh, nice, nice dodge. Nice save. Oh, I missed it. I blew it. Oh, wait, that's our goal. Whoops. <laughs> I almost... Uh, Oh no, that was Cuban. Good one, good one. I've been seeing that more this week, but game still go. Oh, the the little flashing icon. Okay. I'm assuming it means somebody has a bad connection, but it's just my my guess. How do you? Uh... There we go. Oh, totally overshot that jump. Get it, Herb. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, I messed that up. No, no, no. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Cuban, Cuban has got this. He's got this all set. I'm hitting other cars instead of the actual ball. Oh. oh, there it is. Yeah, the ball physics are really something to... It's hard to... Uh... Oh no, why did I just do that? <laughs> that literally went almost right in the goal. Holy smokes. All right. I definitely don't want to do that. Oh boy. I keep mistaking the uh, handbrake and jump. That's my fault. Oh no, no! Oh man. Yeah, I would imagine if you know what you're doing, this is really, really crazy stuff. Alas, I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> so I'm just having a hard time struggling to cat find the ball. So yeah, this is uh, it's different. Alright, well, we didn't win, but it's all good. It is all good. Disconnected, it says. Anything better than zero is good? Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'm just going to be kind of being thrown into the wolves here, so. Somehow got a score of 84. I don't know how that worked. Oh well. 
if they hear me too bad <laughs> but anyways it is uh i can do one more match but yeah let, let me switch this in the uh or actually look looks like cuban left so you know what let me tweak that in the options now uh chat open mic toggle mute Push to talk, I guess. You can get score based on your contribution. Okay. Uh, voice chat. Voice chat. Well, it says voice chat with friends only. But you know what? I'll, I'll turn it off. Okay. Um, I could do one more match. I could do one more, because it is 6.04, so I do need to kind of wrap it up, but I could do one more. If that's fine with you, Herb. I think I disgusted Tanner with my my uh, horrible, horrible Rocket League skills. <laughs> well, I don't have any, so that, that's that. I totally get it. But thank you for for uh, for bearing with me. I know this is a little rough. Usually the games I play on this stream, I'm uh, competent at. This is no. This is not it at all. I think he had to go. Oh, okay. Weapon mode. So that is... Uh, where would that be? Extra modes? I'm assuming. Rumble? The yeah, extra modes? Oh, so it says I need to be level 10. I don't think I can do it. Wow, so you need to be locked to a certain level to be able to do it, huh? That kind of stinks. Okay. Well, that's on me. Alright, well, we could do a double. Or just 4v4 chaos and just see, uh, I guess it's every car for their own, I guess is, is what that is. What say you? 2v2 or 4v4? Oh no, four team, teams of four, okay. It's already pretty chaotic with three, so yeah, adding one more into the mix would be pretty wild. What say you, Herb? Two v two is cool, right? It says Herb is in an online game, which you are. You are there. It says you're in the post game lobby. Let me uh, send you another invite. Even though you're in my screen, but. Don't know what's going on there. Yeah, no worries. No worries at all. So the training challenges play one match, get one shot on goal in online matches. Okay. Huh. Justin Hawks, that look. So yeah, this game is all about licensed music, huh? Should be good? Okay. So, casual 2v2. Alright, so this will be the final match. Winner by forfeit, blue. Okay, I, I guess we lost somehow. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay. Net code is a little weird. Okay. Oh, this is a different arena. Okay. We just filled in the spaces where others lost. Okay. Throwback, if I got 5 XP, 
Whatever that means. Oh man, already? Alguien como yo score. Someone like me in Spanish. Oh, he's listed as a master. Oh boy. Well, that's not good. Whoops. You almost got that. There you go, Herb. Good job. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Oh, Linda, this is a uh, this is a debacle. You were witnessing firsthand the destruction of Aldo. I thought I hit it. Whoops! Geez, that's another one. My jumps are not, uh, not doing too hot. I see it's a chainsaw that he has for his uh, icon. They're really good. And I'm really bad, so it's not a good combo. Oh boy, alright. Big props to Herb for carrying my dead weight and also typing while he's playing. That's very proficient. I don't know how you do it. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. All right, Herb. There you go. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. I saw it... <coughs> I saw it go by me in slow motion. Oh, he destroyed... <coughs> he blew me up. Wow. Oh. No! Oh, this is a decimation. This is... This is, a uh, Hard to watch. Another score. Wow, that is just... <laughs> what a note to end on, huh? A complete decimation. This is kind of like uh, watching a, a New York Knicks game. I got uh, not anymore. Oh, at least I blocked him somewhat. That's that's positivity. Oh boy. There you go, Herb. There you go. There you go. No. No, 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 no. No. Man, they, they, they've got like a symbiotic relationship here. They're right on top of each other. Like coordinated attacks and everything. 7-0. Oh, this is rough. I appreciate the positivity, Linda. But yeah, at this point, not even a miracle can fix this. Oh boy. 
Yeah, wow, they are they have got their like speed and everything. They've got complete control of their cars. Fascinating to see how like competent you can become. Wow, that's just an instant goal. <laughs> they know what's up. I don't get salty though, so it's fine. You know, it could be 50 0, oh, and that's fine. I, I, I just find it fascinating. I wonder if they're doing like power slide jumps into the ball. You know, like advanced stuff like that, maybe. Yeah, they're 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 literally bouncing it like a soccer player would. It's wild. Oh, he just bumped me over. Oh, that's another goal. That's another goal. Ten oh. And the timer is still at 152. <laughs> Will they get 20 and 0? I don't know. Now, normally, is there music that plays during a game, or uh, is it because I have the license music off? Oh boy. Oh. No. Oh, or, or missed it, or missed it. Diego's gonna try to get it back. Herb saved it. Good job, Herb. Diego brought it back. And I overshot. Herb brought it back, good job. One minute, oh, the longest minute in history. Oh, almost. I almost had a goal for once. Oh. If I had just hit it with like a boost, that would have done it. Oh, no. Oh, boy. They got it. No, denied. Get out of here. I did something for once. You know, at least I blocked the ball. Uh, you know, I'll take that as a victory. Oh. one goal oh yeah I, I you know what that is an absolute victory for me i think they were just slack they just decided you know what let them let them feel better <laughs> they're about to get one right now yeah at least it's not 10-0 right it's gonna be it's gonna be 11 11 1 in a few seconds oh boy Oh no. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Decimation from blue. They are a prodigy. <laughs> you know what, though? I got a goal. I, you know what, if, if I were to take something from this match, it's that. I got a goal. I, I take that as a win. 10-1 for first time playing against Masters is something my friend says to her. They were, um, quite prodigious, weren't they? Like an easy, yeah, you know. Well, the way I see it, then maybe Herb can, uh, can agree you know we, we come from a different generation where we would get stomped in the arcades but every even in street fighter or any of those games every fight every challenge was a learning experience so i learned something here i learned that maybe i should do training before i jump into actual live games and Herb says he hasn't played in like a year. Well, you were you are far better than I could ever hope to be. So thank you for uh, 
dragging me along, my carcass. But I got a goal. I got a goal, you know? So uh, that's, I, you know, if I were to leave on a high note, that is it. Multiplayer is the training. I would imagine probably playing against bots would be the ideal way to uh, level up, maybe. But, yeah, I, I can see how it can be, um, it can be fun if you, uh, if you become proficient at it. I can, I can definitely see how that can definitely be, you know, once you start getting the understanding, like, the one, the physics of the ball, how to handle your car correctly, when to do jumps, and all that type of stuff. Sure. I just have no earthly idea how that works just yet. Um, and there's the chat catching up. Like Tanner said, try the focus training sometime. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this was a bit of a mix of variety today. Played a little bit of Fall Guys. Played a little bit of Brawlhalla. And played some Rocket League. And these were all suggestions from viewers such as Herb and Sam. Uh, again, Knockout City has, has shut down. Servers are, are out. But um, yeah, June looks to be an interesting month with games. I think what I would like to do at the end of the month is uh, Sonic Origins Collection is getting an update with uh, lets you play as Amy, I think is what they're doing. And um, I think I would like to do that at the end of the month, but there still is uh, next week, which would be the 16th to 23rd, so I will uh, leave a poll in our, on our Twitter handle, and I will leave a vote of certain games, and depending on what is, is chosen, you know, I, could, I could, could do this again, certainly. I mean, if people are willing to play with me, that's cool. You know, I, I certainly don't mind it. Would highly suggest Fantasy Strike plus Deathverse sometime. Okay, I'll have to look into those, yeah, because I, I am not familiar with those games. But uh, I will certainly look at them and, and let you know. But yeah, Fall Guys, I think, is definitely the most accessible. Like, that is the game's, uh, the skill ceiling, I guess, is um, because the physics are so wacky. I think everyone is fair game to possibly win uh, from those three games that I've played thus far. But... Thank you. Let me just give a shout out to everybody who was in the chat today. I, I always like to give uh, props to everyone who pops in. So EC Myers, thank you so much for coming on in. Herb, thank you for, for tagging along and playing. That is awesome. I appreciate you taking time out of your day. Come in this little tiny corner of the internet and, and hang out. Linda, the gamer gal, thank you for your continued support. As always, Square Pegs, my friend, thank you for coming on in. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing your next video. Uh, Sam, thank you for coming on in. Thank you for hopping in on Brawlhalla. Appreciate it. And let me see. Let me scroll through the chat here. See who else. Uh, Cuban Stinopol. Tanner, thank you so much for joining on in. Appreciate you coming on in here on the NPO Video Game Club. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. It's always nice to see some new faces. And uh, anyone else who may have been lurking or just watching, appreciate it. Thank you for helping make this a, a standout or a library steam, a stream, because uh, I don't know of any other libraries out there, and I may, be, I may be mistaken of any that do any weekly gaming streams. I don't, think, I don't think it's a thing. I think this is the only place that does it. So thank you for making this what it is. Anytime, says Herb, always down for easy, fun, multi we, we got to... There's got to be a fusion frenzy way to play it online. Oh, that would be so good to do that snake game and the uh, the one you were talking about with the spinning turbine and you got to jump and duck. Oh, that's so good, man! I I have got to find a way to play fusion frenzy again. Um, Microsoft, come on! It really spells itself. You could take advantage of the Mario Party market. Cross-play, free-to-play, Fusion Frenzy, revitalize the IP. Just, it, it, it's so simple. It really is. It, it, the blueprint is right there. Just do it, you know? You know OG Xbox is something not commonly emulated. 
It's kind of a shame. It is, yeah. Fusion Frenzy is such... Man, you know, because... I, I, well, I hate to go into a tangent, but... When Fusion Frenzy came out... Again, this is the original Xbox. This is circa 2001. Uh, 2002. And uh, I, I think Fusion Frenzy was year one on Xbox. So I think it was 2001. And it was such a unexpected surprise. So, you know, this was back in the era when if you bought a console, you got a demo disc. A demo disc. And Xbox was the last generation to really do it, and PS2. And in that demo disc was a demo for Fusion Frenzy. And it was such a game that was under the radar. No one ever heard of it. No one knew Microsoft was doing this. And that's what it was. It was Mario Party with a steampunk aesthetic. And um, it's just so charming. Like the, the, the spinning game that I was just talking about. There was also another one where you're in like these giant hamster balls and you have to, you're on a very small arena and you have to knock each other off. Um, it's just, man, a lot of those games were just so fun. So, so fun. And uh, it was different than Mario Party. It, it didn't focus on stars. It didn't focus on the board game aesthetic. It was just, you jump right into the mini games. That was it, up to four players. And there was just so much psychological warfare that you could play with your opponents, um, just psych them out, and that it was just so good. I, I never did play Fusion Frenzy 2. I know it was on 360. I never played it. I heard it was nowhere near as good. I think it was a different developer, right? Because I don't think Microsoft did Fusion Frenzy 2. I know they did. Microsoft Game Studios did one. Um, we would sit and play Twisted System for like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was... Man, uh, dude, man, herb, find a way, <laughs> find a way to get this done. Yeah, and you can do the custom soundtracks with the OG Xbox. Such a underrated and overshadowed, overlooked aspect of where you could, um, you were the DJ of your games. You weren't tethered to the soundtracks of a game, you know. Um, man, it was. Good stuff, good stuff. But anyways, I, I could go on for a rant forever. It is 626. Thank you to everyone who popped in. Thank you for playing some online games. Uh, you know, she sh hit up our Twitter handle, uh, NorwalkLibCT. If you ever have any suggestions for games, um, I am all ears. Uh, I am, just keep in mind, I am the one purchasing all these games. So it is out of my pocket. So... Um, you know, this is all based on my personal collection. So I don't have a Switch. I don't have a PS5. I don't have an Xbox Series X. Um, I'm primarily a PC gamer, but I do have capture cards. So I, you know, I could hook up an Xbox 360. I could hook up a, uh, a Dreamcast, which I did a couple weeks ago. Uh, NES Classic, Super Nintendo Classic, TurboGrafx-16 Classic. Uh, I have a Neo Geo uh, Mini that I, I, I could do. You know, there's lots of things that I could hook up, which is not just tethered. You know, I don't like to just stick with modern games because there's so many wonderful games from the past that are simple, they're quick, you can play them for 15 minutes or so and then have your fill, you know. Um, I wish there was like a fight cade for PS2, GameCube, Xbox somehow. Yeah, it's uh, it would be nice. Unfortunately, I can't really do that. Because on the library stream, I do have to keep everything uh, uh, official, you know. Uh, of course, off stream, it's it's whatever you'd like, you know. You, it's up to you to what you want to do. Um, the only way would be through Excellent Kai if it had land mode like other Xbox games, or Parsec. Yeah, I, I dabbled with Parsec like a year ago on my old PC, and I did it to play with uh, Genesis with someone. And Streets of Rage, too, actually. I, I did play that with someone. Um, right now, we live in a time where there are most games, ex more games accessible than ever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, any suggestions, hit us up on Twitter. Again, NorwalkLibCT. Uh, if, or uh, you can the, the, uh, pin comment. My Twitter handle, personal Twitter handle, is ShinBoJack. If you have any suggestions that you maybe would like me to play on stream, 
uh, please, I'm I'm open to any and all ideas. You know, certain games, yes, of course. But yes, thank you so much for coming on by on the NPL Video Game Club. This was a nice change of pace to include you, the community, because this would not be anything, you know, uh, without your involvement. It would, you know, it would just be me rambling in front of a camera. But uh, I appreciate any and everyone who has stopped by once or in succession. You make this what it is. You make this fun to do every Friday. So thank you so much. But uh, I must bid you adieu. So on behalf of the library, thank you so much. Everyone here at NPL, we appreciate your continued support here with the NPL Video Game Club. I will return. We will return next Friday from four, uh, at 4 p.m., 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on the NPL YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Please enjoy the weekend. Enjoy times with loved ones and family, friends. Please be kind to one another. A little bit of kindness goes such a long way these days. You know, you could be... A little act of kindness could change someone's week. It could change their whole perspective. And that really is what it's all about. Spreading a little bit of kindness really, really does have the effect of changing someone's life in a positive way. So please, be kind to one another. I will see you here next week, right here on the NPL Video Game Club. Thank you very much. And so long, everyone.